Hello everyone and welcome to Walbrook Stadium for the 2020-2021 Dixie High School graduation. I'm Carson Burgess and I was the student body vice president this year. Those of you who know me that I am not a man of many words, so don't worry, I'll keep this short. We all just went on a 13-year journey that has built up to this moment. We all took very different paths and went about school in very different ways. But in the end, we're all right here sitting next to each other. And personally, I think that's pretty cool. The last few months have been full of a lot of last times. Our last sporting events, our last assemblies, our last time walking through the halls of the Dixie High student. Whether you're happy to be graduating or not quite ready to move on, there's so much to look forward to because with endings come beginnings. The next few months are going to be full of a lot of firsts. For some of us, it'll be our first time attending college. For others, it'll be our first taking our first steps towards our careers. For all of us, it'll be getting out there and showing the world what we've got. What's not to be excited about? Well, maybe the added responsibilities of being an adult, that's kind of scary, but hey, we don't have to let that get to us. Let's get out there, work hard, have some fun, and experience life one day at a time. I think everyone can agree that it's been a crazy year full of change and uncertainty, but I think it's made us adaptable. We'll be ready for the next thing life throws our way. I just want to finish by saying thanks to all of you, the graduates, the parents, and the faculty. You are what makes Dixie High such a special place to be. Thanks, and congratulations to all of the graduates. Now for the posting of the colors by the Dixie High JROTC and the national anthem performed by Allison Orton. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the
we'd like to offer a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful that we can gather together as faculty and staff and family and graduates of Dixie High. Heavenly Father, we're grateful for the amazing school that we were all able to attend. We're grateful for the rich traditions that we have been able to participate in. And please bless this ceremony that it will go smoothly. And please bless the graduates that while we might be leaving Dixie High, we'll always have the memories and the traditions that we all love. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now, what we, now we will hear from our student body president, Hayden Kerr, followed by a musical number by our senior madrigals. The first thing I want to say to all of my classmates is, can you believe we are here? Not very long ago, we were sophomores, hoping we wouldn't get lost on the first day of school. And now we think we know it all, and they're giving us a paper that proves it. In reality, we don't know everything, and there's no way we'd be here without the teachers who taught us and put up with us, the administrators that kept us in line, and I'm sure that was hard, and our parents, who probably cried, said choice words, and prayed that this day would actually come. Our parents are so proud that, then, that, that now might be a great time to ask for gifts. Mom and Dad, I prefer cash, but a check is okay too. Seriously, though. Thank you to all of you. I'd also like to thank the school board and Superintendent Bergeson for their support. Our junior and senior year of high school didn't exactly go as expected. I remember sitting in APUSH, watching the news, and wondering how a virus in China would ever affect us in St. George, Utah. But everything changed quickly. A global pandemic wasn't part of anyone's ideal high school experience. Many schools around the country haven't been able to attend school in person, but we have walked the halls each and every day this year. Our student body has gone to dances, supported our teams in athletics, and have gotten to participate in some of our high school's most treasured traditions. Although this year has been far from normal, we have had such an incredible experience as a student body. We haven't been able to do all that we would have normally done or would like to, but hopefully we learn to appreciate our traditions and activities even more. This year has been a privilege, and we are grateful. As we go into the world, we inevitably will have many other difficulties and challenges, and I have confidence that we will meet those trials and begin our adulthood with the same resilience we've shown thus far. The 45th President of the United States said, no dream is too big, no challenge is too great, nothing we want for our future is beyond our reach. Many people tell us that our dreams will come true. I would counter that if we don't actually work for it, this isn't true at all. As we go out into the world, we should have lofty goals and big dreams, but we need to actually do the things and put in the hard work to make it happen. Dixie High School's motto is, Passe deo a passe ad esse, or from possibility to reality. We've learned how to work hard so that we can make our dreams and goals, whatever those may be for each of us, our reality. This is also a time in our lives that we often focus on ourselves and what we want or need to do next. I suggest that changing that focus a little and looking outside of our own circle will improve our lives and those around us. As we are kind to each other, volunteer our time, and look for ways to help, we are spreading our Dixie spirit. Being kind is free and something we'll never forget. Our fellow Dixie High graduate, Jeffrey R. Holland, once said, kindness, pleasantness, and optimism are characteristics of happy people. As we go on in our lives, we will be going in many different directions, and I would hope that we can take the things we've learned at Dixie to make the world a little better. I think we are ready to prove that we have lived up to Dixie High School's mission, which is to develop capable, caring, and contributing graduates. Thank you, Dixie High School, class of 2021, I expect big things, and I can't wait to see the greatness you accomplish and the goodness you give.
Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I have come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them, and the good is often turned with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. All right, 30 seconds down, 150 more to go. I knew that would come in handy someday. In all sincerity, we would not find ourselves here today without, were it not for the help of and support of so many who make Dixie an amazing place to attend high school. 
Firstly, I would like to thank the custodial staff at Dixie for working to provide a beautiful, clean, and safe environment for our education. I would also like to thank our teachers for their work in providing us with a wonderful education for the past three years. Despite the strange and constantly changing circumstances in which we found ourselves last spring, I would like to thank the parents, grandparents, and other family members who supported the class of 2021. Thanks to your help, I dare say we turned out pretty well. Lastly, I would like to thank the administration in the Washington County School District and at Dixie High for keeping us in school this year, and most importantly, for the short days every Friday. Those were amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Traditionally, the valedictorian offers some advice or talks about lessons they've learned in high school. I have had the opportunity to learn from some amazing coaches and teachers at Dixie High. Given that they are infinitely more qualified to give advice than myself, I hope that you will allow me to share some of their wisdom with you. Without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever find yourself in a track race, listen to Coach Goodrich and run fast, then turn left. Concerning the question that is eating away at myself and my classmates, that of how to be an, a successful adult, Mr. McConnell, spelled with two C's, two N's, and two L's, has us covered with three easy steps. Step one, pay your bills on time. Step two, don't do drugs. And step three, wear deodorant. Armed with this kind of knowledge, I expect immense success in both track and field and in life from the class of 2021. In all seriousness, however, Dixie is an awesome place to attend high school for two reasons. Because the faculty and administration have stuck, struck a perfect balance between work and play, and because we have such a welcoming student body. As I have attended Dixie High, I have had the privilege of associating with students who excel at their chosen activities, be it, athle be it athletics, academics, the arts, or all three. Before I close, I would like to encourage the class of 2021 to keep up the good work and make the world a better place by remembering to be kind, have fun, and work hard. This is certainly not as important as wearing deodorant, but if you have some time left over, you may consider applying my advice. My name is Sophia Andrus, and I am so excited to be standing here in front of you today speaking on behalf of my friends, family, and classmates, the graduating class of 2021. I was honored this year to hold the position of student body historian and act as, in a way, the keeper of the graduating class's memories. Before the school year began, it was still in question whether or not the students would be able to attend in-person learning, school dances, sports, or other activities. But, with the help of regulatory guidelines, including our favorite head garments, masks, as well as social distancing rules and continuous testing, we were able to keep the COVID count low and stay in school in person all year. With all of this in mind, I believe that it is safe to say that this year was a year like no other. When it came to the sports this year, Dixie dominated. When it became news to the students at the beginning of the school year that the student sections for the football games were required to be held on the far end of the football field with masks in a small enclosed space while standing in the blazing August sun, it can be assumed that the students were not all too thrilled. Nevertheless, these students did not fail to show up for their team and show them how much they cared about their success given the circumstances. We eventually were able to move back to the bleachers and help our football team make it to playoffs while holding the title of the best high school student section in St. George, Utah. <laughs> our volleyball girls had a spectacular season, taking third in region and sixth at state. A team that is far underrated and slowly making a comeback to Dixie High School is our very own cross country team. They train on the toasty summer sidewalks day in and day out. And with their hard work, our boys team placed eighth at region, while our girls team placed fifth at region and 11th at state. The second year in a row, our girls team has made it to state after many years. The girls soccer season included many early morning wake ups, lots of long hours of practice, and many good times on the field. While our girls may not have taken home a trophy, let's not forget when we beat D Hills in overtime. 
You know it's girls' tennis season when the courts are 115 degrees and it feels like you're gonna die of heat stroke. Our girls played phenomenally this season, taking third in region and eighth at state. Our swim team had a very successful season with individual swimmers taking home many medals at region and placing sixth overall at state. Boys golf had an exciting season of many long, hot days in the sun and countless hours on the grass bonding with their fellow teammates. The boys soccer season was unforgettable. Unforgettable, kind of like when we beat Snow Canyon on senior night in overtime and moved to the first place spot. With the boys' drive, teamwork, and dedication to the field, they became the region champs and made it all the way to quarterfinals. The boys' tennis season was easily one of the best, not losing a single game during their season, making them region champs and taking fourth place at state competitions. This year's track season was incredible. As a team, they set 274 personal records over the course of the year and had four school records set. The amount of time and effort these athletes put into their, into their put in to be the best, and they never fail to amaze us. Our softball girls this season put in a lot of hard work and played to the best of their abilities. Though they may not have come out with any titles, I think it is honorable to mention that they beat what was once the undefeated Snow Canyon. Though many have had their doubts about boys baseball this season, I think it is safe to say that they proved everyone wrong by striking fear into the rest of the region. They placed fourth at region and took home third at state despite their limitations. Our girls' golf team absolutely killed it this year. Thanks to their hard work and dedication, our girls were able to take second at region and second place at state. Wrestling had a very strong year, taking several boys to state and claiming the prize bell back from Cedar after 12 long years. Girls basketball played very well this season. They did excellent at region and were able to make it all the way to the second round of playoffs. After coming off the state championship, the boys basketball team came into this year with an abundance of confidence and craving to take home the state title once again. With lots of hard work and dedication, these boys came out as region champs and made it all the way to the quarterfinals and playoffs. We all know the Jettets are super great. They're back-to-back -back state champs, baby. Within the last few years, Dixie High Cheer has proven to be a force to be reckoned with. These girls and boy made it their goal that every sport feels supported. This year, they finished second in region and third in sideline cheer at state. Moving on from sports, I would like to quickly recognize some clubs and extracurriculars. This year, clubs were able to meet in person like usual and compete in region and state competitions. Though many competitions were virtual and the regulations were constantly changing, we are lucky we were still able to participate. Some groups that don't get enough recognition are those found in instrumental music. They spend a lot of time practicing their instruments, counting out their rhythms, and working together to craft beautiful music. Orchestra was able to get a superior rating at state, jazz band received an excellent rating at state, and concert band got a superior rating at region, and are still waiting back from their results after their great performance at state. Moving on from instrumental music to vocal music, both choir and madrigals did well in their competitions. They put in a lot of dedication and a lot of early mornings to be able to get straight superiors at state for choir and superior at region for madrigals. Sadly though, mads were just too jazzy for state. This year, due to circumstances, the fall musical was sadly canceled, but we were luckily able to put on the musical review. The review's reviews were great, and not soon after, Clue hit the stage. Everyone involved in these productions put in a lot of time and effort to make for two great shows. Despite the challenges thrown their way, Dixie High's execs still made the most of things. While Dixie High School is a place known for its cherished traditions that both students and faculty adore so much, it was hard to see some things having to be done differently this year. But the group was able to still make things fun for the students, and we know that the unique things Unique way things were done this year will be remembered forever. I love you so much, Dixie High School. Cheers to an incredible year. I'm now going to turn the time over to your senior class historian, Damien Cervantes. The past 15 months have been entirely unprecedented. Whole systems have been shut down and the previous senior class had to watch as their final moments as the senior drifted away. And in their wake, here we stand, triumphant over an entirely unprecedented year. Everything that has occurred over the course of the school year has been tentatively perceived at best. After all, for a great deal of time, many of us were counting down the days and the weeks until the school would get shut down and the cycle of quarantine and distance learning would start back up again. 
Pessimism was a rampant epithet, to say the least. Yet despite all of our doubts, COVID wasn't pervasive enough to stop the homecoming dance, nor did it stop our sports from continuing, nor did it stop the clubs, plays, performances, etc. Ultimately, COVID didn't stop us. But despite our persistence through the pessimism, there were brief moments that left us feeling shaky. Once the bells tolled on the night of the third quarter, many of us held our breaths in a quiet sense of remembrance for one year prior when everything came to a sudden and catastrophic close. But once the sun shone through at the end of spring break, we could once again exhale and allow the celebrations to commence. D-Week, the crown jewel of Dixie High traditions and a memorable time all around, D-Week gave us some very memorable moments from the candidates of Mr. Dixie with their unmatchable rap skills or their equally unmatchable karaoke skills to an incredibly close faculty versus student basketball game to an incredible and eventful night at the D-Day dance. The whole week climaxed, though, on one particular day, the day of the bucket run. A great effort was put forth by everyone that participated, and although we weren't able to break the all-time record, we still brought together the second highest number of participants ever. And immediately after this beloved event ended, we strapped up the highest achievers of Dixie, the Diamond Ds, and sent them dangling over the side of a brilliant red rock to set on a fresh coat of paint for the iconic Sugarloaf. Afterwards, the stage was set for a clash of classes in our homegrown stadium for the Class Olympics. Tensions were high as the end neared with the scores so close in value. We were able to pull through with an utterly astounding display at the tug of war, a competition that hadn't been a part of Class Olympics for years. And once the Battle of Bronze were brought to a close, the senior show-off gave us a showcase of some of our class's more artistically inclined individuals. There was a memorable trip to France, and I've heard talks of a man resurrected right before his performance. And so, as the year came ever closer to its close, things have wound down. We've all had time to think about where we're going next, and many of us are making the choice to continue our education. And as we all know, that does not come cheap. We need to finance our futures somehow, and when it comes to further schooling, scholarships have always been a fantastic boost. And only around two weeks ago, the class of 2021 was awarded $5,271,154. So now, with our history under wraps, we should, look now, we should look on the future and prepare for more history to accumulate with us over time. May the days that soon pass be filled with prosperity, but if they are not, then may we stay resilient. With any new and unforeseen great and dire events that may be thrown our way, may, be, may we be able to push through and stand triumphant in the end. If COVID couldn't stop us, then what can? Now we will hear a musical number by our Dixie High Orchestra and Band.
I would now like to introduce our principal, Mr. Warren Brooks, for the presentation of the candidates. Thank you, Carson. You're doing a fantastic job. First of all, I would like to let everyone know as you look down here, our future is bright with these graduates. Please give them a big round of applause. As they came in this morning, they noticed they had a program on their seat as well as a card with a little treat. That card and little treat came from the class of 2011. They have their 10-year reunion this year and they wanted to give you a little piece of advice. Each one of them is different, so you might want to get with some of your friends and read some of them also. But we want to thank the class of 2011 for giving that kind gesture. So thank you, class of 2011. We also want to thank CEC TV for broadcasting this. We know they're busy and they do this out of the kindness of their hearts, so thank you. Bell Photography, as well as Jostens. Perhaps most importantly, we want to thank the family and the friends of each graduate. Graduates, give your parents and your friends an applause. Thank you. We'd also like to pay tribute to two of our secretaries who are retiring this year. They are unbelievable, and there's probably every student in this school knows them well. Julie Palmer and Patty Harris. We will sorely miss them. They have been amazing, and each one of you probably feel the same way that I do. Thank you. Now the reason we're here. Superintendent Larry Bergeson. Board of Education, Craig Segmiller. There's one good guy. Executive Directors, Sherry Stevenson and Amy Mitchell. And our Director of Communication and Public Relations, Stephen Dunham. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Dixie High School, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2021 who have met all the requirements and standards set forth by the State of Utah and Washington County School District with the help of our teachers. Thank you and congratulations. And as you leave today, after we walk through the D and you have your celebrations, thank those teachers. Craig Segmiller, we'd like to invite you to the stand. Graduates, on behalf of the Washington County School District, and the Washington County Board of Education, it is my privilege to accept and honor you, the 2021 graduates of Dixie High School. Now traditionally I'm supposed to say a few words and traditionally you won't remember, so I will follow the five rules of public speaking, the five B's of public speaking. Be brief, brother, be brief. Okay, number one, you graduated from an amazing school. As a fellow alumnus of Dixie High School, I hope you carry in your heart a love of the school that you've attended. I hope you realize that it was the first school in Southern Utah. It's a school with 110 years of tradition. For you non-math majors, that's more than 90 years longer than you've been alive. That's 11 classes that could have had their 10-year reunion before you. And since Dixie is under attack in some areas of our community, I hope you graduates and all who are here will be willing to stand up for Dixie. And finally this, you graduated in an amazing year. Your graduating class will go down in, literally, in the history books. You've experienced challenges that no other graduating class did. 
So I hope you remember this. You're here. Challenges did not stop you. Perhaps the most important lesson you could ever learn is this. Challenges are not final. I can do hard things. Congratulations. Carson Brett Burgess. Allison Michelle Orton. Charles Hayden Kerr. Sophia Karina Andrus. Damian Dimitri Cervantes. Jonah Lee Pelelele Lutui. Sydney Hannah Allen. Emma Lee Armstrong. Cicely. Chanda Atkinson. Paige Aline Barchi. Martha Pauline Baum. Maylee Brooks. Sydney. L. Clove. Melanie Grobe. Cameron Ryan Holdaway. Gracie Madison Hyde. Allie. Ray Johnson, Riley Jade Luna, Jenna Catherine Page, Jordan Taryn Platt, Carla Lydia Pratt. Gwendolyn Elise Sepp. Kinley Roxanne Wilson. Ellie Rebecca Whitwer. Brecken Gage Abbott. Luis Ezekiel Acuna. Marcos Angel Acuna. 
Braxton, Donald, Adams. Karame Aguiar. Brian Alexandre Aguilera Gomez. Dallin Dustin Aldridge. Samuel Wren Allen. Juliana Gabriela Alvarez Lopez. Avery Jared Anderson. Leticia Nancy Arnold. Bagne Adiar Aruro Tomus. Grace Ashby. Hannah Ashworth. Eric Estrudio. Axlia Shilo. Miguel Angel Aunga. Skyla Ashlyn Beza. Michael Lee Baker. Madison Bollingham. Bailey Lynn Bandley. Joshua Christian Barney. Hannah Denae Basto. Devaney Leah Veda Bates. Trinity Lynn Bowden. Anna Dixie Beatty. Micah Darren Beckstead. Michelle Batron. Ethan Larson Bennett. Jose Miguel Bernabe. This is Jose Miguel Bernabe. Jesus Emmanuel Bernal Rodriguez. Sandy Bibiano Vargas. Roman Matthew Bird. Emma Bowman. Mackenzie Fidel Xavier Boone. Dylan Clark Bradbury. Bethany Ann Brooks. Brinley May Brooks. Alyssa May Brown. Chase Douglas Buchanan. Samantha Jerry Bundy. Emma Punipuawa Burgess. Shaden Stephen Burke. Austin Nicole Bur Burningham. David Dax Burton. 
Connor Jameson Burns. Desiree Tiana Alexis Campbell. Zachary Ryan Campbell. Catherine Marin Cannon. Spencer Thomas Carlisle. Garrett Lane Carlisle. Leonard Jacob Carson. Kate Carter. Tirza J. Chadburn. Sierra Breeze E. Chittister. Jack Christensen. Bailey Clark. Caden Van Clifton. Janae Elise Cogburn. Gracie Ann Condi. Sophia Faith Cook. Jocelyn Victoria Copling. Taylor Joe Covington. Jeffrey William Cox. Shandine Sequoia Curtis. Alexandra Draconis Drager. Erica Jeanette Davenport. Andrew Colin Davis. Grace Christina Davis. Caden J. Davis. K. Davis. Nathan Scott Davis. Zachary Allen Davis. Samuel Woodruff Danes. Tyler Ryan Decker. Cameron Kirk Deem. Alicio Craig DeHart. Eliana Hope Dittman. Hamilton Seth Doran. Jordan Sierra Dowd. <clears throat> Devin Michael Dunsey. Lakota Edric James Duran. Olga Jeanette Duran. Victor Manuel Duran. Rushton Kemp Dye. Michael Thomas Igger. Tyler Dennis Eden. Let's pick that flag up. One second, we'll grab the flag here. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> Easton Douglas Ellett. 
Willow, Rose, Inyard, King, Dylan, Thomas, Esplin, Caitlin, Shante, Evans, Kayla, Fa'otoa, Fa Fa'otupa, Chasley, Marie, Fabrizio, Ethan, Benjamin, Tunavilia, Facey, Danielle, Alexis, Fielding, McCade, Nathaniel, Fielding, Isaac, Kent, Finlinson, Mikola, S. Fisher, Braden James Flicklinger. Perla, Adriana Flores, Turla. Carson, Daniel Forsey. Joseph Tomasen Foster. Dylan Curtis Frank. <laughs> Sally Magnolia Frazier. Yes, Sally! Ian Hunter David Gaines. <laughs> Nayard Iasia Galvin. Jera Noalai Galvin. Jonathan Emmanuel Gamez. Kaylee Helen Gamez. Jennifer Maritza Garcia Robles. Israel Gomez Gonzalez. Guadalupe Gomez Perez. Cristina Esmeralda Gomez Cordova. Ezekiel Aaron Gum. Priscilla Gonzalez. Ruth Gorbanova. Tully K. Graf. Carson Lance Greer. Brenna Rolls Gunnell. <laughs> Jordy Gutierrez Cabrera. Eve Taylor Hakamov. Cooper Clinton Hannig. Cutler Danielle Hansen. Isaac Joseph Hansen. Caitlin Hansen. Logan Faith Hansen. Tatum Maureen Hansen. Jesse Lynn Harris. Riley Michelle Harrison. Caden Roy Humphrey. Javen Christopher Hartman. 
McKenna Han Hastings, Jessica Lynn Heat, Ridge Jared Heath, Jamari Hernandez Martinez. Joel Hernandez, Sienna June Herring, Isabella Jade Holdman, Isabel, Isabel Clara Hooper, Spencer James Haas. Daisy Dawn Howard, Dustin River Hart, Ashton River Hunt, Miley Danielle Hutchinson, Timothy James Isom, Max. Bradley Isaac. Miley Grace Jacobson. Ryan Douglas Jamison. Joshua Paul Jensen. Catherine Joyce Jensen. Aaliyah Joe Jensen. Jose Jukes. Josie Jukes. Gabriela Eduardo Jimenez Bibiano. Chancy Coliana. Colleen John. Kaden Tyler Johnson. Noah Gabriel Johnson. Grace Ann Justin Justinson. Candace Isaac Keats. Check that one in. Cadence Isaac Keats. James Brennan Kaiser. Andrew, Andrew Lloyd Killian. Hunter Court Knighton. Talon Cruz Knutson. Karen Autumn Don Krefsik. Rebecca Lynn Krashowitz. Connor James Kurtz. Reed Alexander LaCourse. Rhett Michael LaCourse. George Wendell Lamb. Ricardo Francisco Lances Carreno. Pedro Emmanuel Ledesma. Danny Lynn Lemley. Karen Itzel Lopez. Marlon Zauri Laredo. William Neely Lorenzen. Grace Isabel Lynch. Catherine Michelle Lingle. Mason William. Mackey. 
Jackson Dennis McElprane. Emery Mackey. Brady Ramon Madrid. Ariana Shirley Madsen. Hannah Kaylee Magnuson. Carolyn Talavi Maeva. Randy Manuarez Rodriguez. Tanner David Markle. Alexis Amelia Marshall. Edgar Martinez Lopez. Jacob Martinez Paleo. Sabrina Faye Matthews. Alexander Clark Maycock. Mackenzie Nicole Maynard. Andy Mayrose. Samuel Cascade McConnell. Simeon Matthew McCune. Bo Thomas McGiven. Briggs Sean McClock McClockton. Jonathan Mia Diaz. Mesa Aurora Mickelson. Katie Jane Mills. Edward Jesus Molina. Francis Renee Moore. Daniela Moreno Monroy. Andalyn Grace Morgan. Tyler Thomas Moss. Caden Guy Mooser. Victoria Scarlett Frida Nahara. Kylie Jo Nielsen. Janie Lee Nelson. Nathan Michael Nobis. Brighton Davy Oaks. Jose Del Carmon Olan Mendez. Ariana Itzel Rodriguez. Emma Oliv Olivra. Nunia Lasita Otoafi. Owen Flannery Palmer. Skyler Ray Pantalakis. Benjamin Era Aaron Paisley. Prene Patel. Jose Saul Perez Gormez. Angelina Nakia Perez. Celeste D. Peterson. Nicholas Martin Peterson. Sophia Phelps. Nathaniel Jareth Apple Phillips. Juan Ciperan Palancarte. Jamie Ernesto Palasancia. Samuel Scott Porter. 
Chase Richard Poulton. Abby Gail Prince. Andlin Marie Prisby. Samaria Ros Rosario Rabagato Guerrero. Samantha Ramirez. Alexis Sparks. Michaela Don Rands. Cole Reber. Delin Shay Rees. Sam Pace Richards. Allison Michelle Writing. Richard Rivera. Logan Daniel Roberts. Taylor Roberts. Ethan Richard Sailors. Dylan James Salvi. Karen Arlette Sanchez. Lily Paige Snyder. Damian Jacob Schultz. Lillian Rose Schultz. Quincy Jane Schwavitz Walder. Ashley Nicole Siva. Addison Lorraine Schaefer. Quinn Christian Schaefer. Kaylee Elise Shineman. Chloe Marie Schumard. Ellie Louise Simpson. Connor Jacob Sizemore. Delaney Dawn Smith. Lauren Rebecca Smith. Lillian Amanda Smith. Brandon Ted Snow. Spencer Douglas Solstead. Jacob Leonard Sorensen. Mark Sio Sopa. Son Sio Sopa. Jacob St. Cyr. Summer Lynn Staley. David Lanakilla Stent. Aspen Stevens. Zachary Ryan Streeter. Corbin Frank Suwin. Quincy Lee Suwin. Trey Swenson. Amanda Maureen Wilkin. Gracie Lauren Taysom. Kylie Terrell. Cade Robert Terry. Brindley Theriot. Macy Yvonne Thomas. Taylor Garrett Thompson. Fia Toa Falone Ayitoya Isabella Tofi. Carson David Trammell. Jesse Patrick Trawick. Kylie Joe Trimble.
Cadence and Trip. <laughs> Axel Trujillo. Charlotte Ruth Truscott Albright. Molly Juliet Teofia. Jessica Vaca Gonzalez. Marlon Ivan Vasquez Enriquez. Jason Vasquez Hernandez. Johanna Vasquez. Sunya Nilam Ved. Jeremia Walker. Alexis Maureen Gust. Kaylin Tavian Washington. Alexis Tara Waters. Ariandra Nichelle Waters. Brennan Farrell Waters. Ryan Joseph Wiedemeyer. Paisley Jane Welch. Emily Jo Wells. Shelby Western. Alexis Ann Whitney. Alexis Jordan Wild. Noah Scott Wilkinson. J.D. Ryan Wilden. Bradley Michael Willis. Taliana Rain Wilson. Tyler Charles Wilson. Keenan Lewis Cowley. Antasia Estela Molano. Emma Dolly Ward. Lauren Yerkes. Samuel Hunter Woolley. Torin Bryant Woodstock. Tyler John Worth. Emma Rose Lugel. Francisco Ruben Carlos Soto. Chloe Beatrice Martinez. Good job, Mr. Congratulations, everyone. Now for your senior class president, Jonah Latui, for the closing remarks, followed by the school hymn performed by the Dixie High Magicals. And to end, Jonah will lead us on the senior salute. Love you, too. <laughs> All right, guys, look out into the stands. Give another round of applause to your family members and your parents. Now you see over here, it's our teachers and staff. Give them a round of applause. All right, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because tears are gonna come soon and I'm an ugly crier. All right. 
Dixie High School, class of 21, I can tell you that this is not only a school, but is a family filled with laughs, memories, and happiness. First off, I want to thank our staff at Dixie High that made it possible for us to be here today. Thank you to our custodians that put in hard laboring hours to make our school clean. There's a saying, the objective is not just to clean, but to feel happiness living within the environment. We spend on, on average 1,080 hours in school, and these custodians put in more hours than we can even imagine. I want to thank our office ladies and counselors. When people are new to the school, or have to make the last minute class changes, or need help to help students succeed to graduate, as we are here now, and they are there to save the day. They make the first impression of Dixie High School, and they do a pretty great job of doing it. I want to thank our officer, McCray, for keeping our school safe and secure, as well as our, as our administration, sorry, <laughs> uh, by keeping Dixie the best place to be. I give thanks to our amazing teachers that to deal with us teenagers, hearing us complain that we work too much, or hearing us give an explanation why we were tardy, or hearing us state our case why we think we should get a better grade in the last week of the quarter. Bless your heart. <laughs> we have made some fond memories here at Dixie High. Remembering the time we first stepped into high school, trying to find where we fit in. Those who are trying to find their future by trying to trying new electives. But we found our place at Dixie High, and that's anywhere in the school, because we have built such a family over the years. These memories that we have made here are going to last a lifetime. Growing up with each other has been a journey, and I want to thank you for letting me serve you as your class president. Class of 21, today is when the real world opens up and when we have our future in our hands. When I look out and see you guys, I see determination and the strive to chase your dreams. This world is going to become such a better place because I know what all of you are capable of doing. And that's all super great things. Sorry, Miss P. <laughs> but as I stand here before you, I just want to say that I will never forget any of you. In our hymn, it says, as I wander down life's highway, may I always keep with me the memories of Dixie High, wherever I may be. That is a true statement. And I will never forget where I came from. And that's the best school in the world. And that's Dixie High School. <laughs> and as I close this speech, I have to do one more thing. Dixie High School, for the last time, goodbye. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go on to the hymn. Uh, we please ask everyone when the hymn is done not to clap or cheer. Thank you.
class of 21, please rise. Now take your tassel from the right and exchange it to the left. You are now official graduates from Dixie High School.